Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I'm going to show you how you can do logging into the DevTools console. So the DevTools console, as you may have seen in a previous video, is the application, the textual application that looks like this and to which you can connect your textual application. So if you run an application with textual run dash dash dev, then when you start to run your application, which right now does nothing as you can see because it has a black screen, events and other debugging info um, ends up on the DevTools console. And what I want to show you is how you can write to this console as well. So there's the first thing you can do, actually before, before the first thing you can do is, let's look at the app I have. So it's an application that does nothing except for handling presses of the key L. So whenever I press the key L, I'm going to run this method because this is a the, the name of this method is special and textual recognizes it. And so whenever I press L, I end up here. And just to show you that this is indeed true, let's replace this with a one divided by zero. Let's also make sure that you can see the keys I'm pressing. So let's see general, where is it display? Tick. Okay. So now if I run the application again. I'm going to press L, you can look at the bottom left corner, I'm going to press L and I got a division by zero. That felt like an I, but that's because it's a lowercase L. So if I run, yes. Oh, but then uppercase L doesn't work. So it has to be lowercase L and I hit the division by zero. All right, so what I want to do is when I reach this point, I want to write to the console. And the quick and dirty way of doing it, it's just to print something. So print, end up in the console and now because i'll be typing i'll we uh, i'll toggle that off again so if you print something it ends up on the console let's see okay so i'm going to create some space and now i'm in the app i'm going to press l and you can see that something showed up in here at the bottom and you can see it's called print so printing shows things on the console but you may want you may want to have a little bit more control over what's being logged and how and so what you can do is from textual you can import log and inside the method or wherever you want to do log you can do log dot and then you can use one of the logging methods so the the methods that you see here log dot debug log dot error dot event dot info dot uh, logging dot system and dot something uh, no these are just and dot warning and worker there's a bunch of them okay so worker warning and the ones over here they set the logging group to which your message belongs and i'll i'll show what this means so i'll use a couple of them so log dot debug going to be debug and then sorry for the typo there log dot info it's going to be for information and then let's do something like log dot error and now let's have a, a grave error let's have an explosion here okay so these are methods on the log and i'm typing different messages there and now if i run my application so this is the console i'm going to press l and you can see here there's three different messages and so these are the messages i typed and they have the timestamps and next to the timestamp you see all caps the group of the logging message and so this is not a tutorial on, on a tutorial on logging itself so i'm assuming you understand the need for different verbosity uh, for different log groups but the point here is not only do you have these predefined groups but you can also exclude them when you're running the console you can do something like exclude debug exclude info and now if i reconnect my application this is the console i'm going to press l and this time around i only saw the error message because i excluded those other log groups so all of this to show that in textual you have a log that you can import from textual and this log will provide a way to debug to send info log messages, error messages, and some other predefined groups. So I hope this was helpful. I feel like I rambled a bit too much, so apologies for that. 
I'll leave a link to the documentation below and you know, if you have any questions, you can just join us on Discord and ask away. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.